Yo, yo, this is your boy Lyrics, Lyrics from the 559 Podcast, and I hope everybody's having a good day today. Let's go. Y'all check out Mad Creations, M-A-D, Creations with a Z. Shout out to Pedro and Jennifer, man. Hey, my shirts look dope. The Life of Chepa, A Place for Superheroes, man. That's the book I wrote, man. They they, they did me right, man. They put, the, they put the image right on the t-shirt. Looks beautiful, man. Not only that, I got another t-shirt with the 559 Podcast logo on it, man. It ooh, looks sick, man. They do, they do cups. They do um, stickers. Whatever you need, man, they got you, man. That's a talented family, man. Oh, man. Also got this cup. I got a cup, right? Not only you could drink out of it, it has a speaker in the bottom, a Bluetooth speaker. Yeah. So you can have whatever beverage you want, your Kool-Aid, your alcohol beverage, whatever, man, and have a speaker right with it. It's dope, man. How do you wash it? You just disconnect it. You just, you know, um, screw it off, screw it on, whatever, man, and wash it, clean it, put it back on, and ready to go. Appreciate, man. Mad Creations, y'all follow them, man. Whatever you need, they got you. Today's going to be a dope, dope segment with the homie. What's cracking, Hector? Hey, what's up, man? Thanks for having me. Yeah, bro. It's good to have you on, man. How you been, bro? Good, man. Yourself? How's everything? Oh, man. Good. Man, you know what's so crazy, man? A tornado was here, bro. They had a tornado where I live, man. Um, oh, yeah. I seen that. There was a, a tornado warning right now. Yeah, I got I got one on my phone when I was at when I was at work. And then uh, it was crazy. It said, hey, man, get to like a shelter or whatever. So I'm like trying to scare me and i'm like what and then yeah. some of the people that i worked there didn't even get that notification a lot of people didn't get it at my job but i got it and um it, oh, it was crazy. Wow. At, least, at least you're good nah. yeah <laughs> i guess it hit a school where i was um well there's a school oh. named brent uh brenda here here in my dad bro and um it, it went oh, it no went way. through that yeah bro so um i seen the news and everything out there man it was crazy bro so i guess it, it, it went towards like yosemite or oakers out that way man Oh, so it didn't last that long, though. That, that's good. That, that's, I mean, that, that still sucks. That, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, bro. Yeah, man. So, you know. Hey, man. Um, Bro, like, let, let us know about about you, man. Um, You know, your, your upbringing is like, where you from? Uh, yeah, man. So I'm originally from L.A. Um, I, I, well, I mean, I moved. I've lived everywhere, man. I've, I, uh, I lived in Chicago for about uh till i was 10 and then from there we actually moved to mexico i lived in mexico for about a year um and i went to school there i I did like fifth grade there and from there we came back out here to la uh, we lived in oxnard and uh have family in compton my grandparents and stuff and you know i've been all around and then uh i think when i was uh my freshman year in high school, we moved out here to to the valley, the Central Valley, and I've been here since, man. Wow, bro. Were you doing acting before the Central Valley? Like when you were in, living in Oxnard, were you were you filming? Were you, were you uh, yeah, were you filming out there? Nah, man, I did. I wasn't. Uh, I always had an interest in acting and stuff, but I I wish I was. You know, I wish I would have got into something or at least you- theater, you know, or something, but. Uh, no, nah, man, I didn't. I just I actually started here in the Central Valley. That was my first ever, you know, experience and everything here in Fresno. So, wow, yeah, because if you were still in Oxnard, isn't that a little bit more closer to LA than where we're at? Oh, yeah, it's like, it's like an hour, but I mean, it depends, you know, with traffic and everything. But yeah, it's, it's way closer, man. Yeah. Sometimes you could do like 40 minutes to an hour, but yeah, it's a lot, a lot closer. Uh, you know, right there to LA and everything. Yeah, well, you're a little bit more closer than I am. Where you at, in Visalia, right? Or uh, uh, Kingsburg. Kingsburg? So I'm in, yeah, I'm in the middle, pretty much exactly in the middle of Fresno and Visalia. And I mean, to uh, Madera, it's like, well, like 40 minutes. It's not too bad at all. It's like yeah. probably like 10 more minutes from from Fresno or 15. Yeah. Man, I, I know it takes me about like it just depends on where I need to go, man. Like if I like three and a half hours, four four hours, you know. Um, yeah. You gotta go out there in LA to to do whatever or or, or film, mm-hmm. man. It's like the things that we do, bro, to just to 
to, yeah. to, to follow our passion or you know like you know especially acting man I, I get a lot of people tripping out like hey lyrics man you drove like this this many hours just to come and do this and like, you ever get that <laughs> people ever tell you that yeah bro i know man and yeah you, i get it all the time like i remember um uh, I don't know if you know the Paul Rodriguez, the the skater. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. That's uh, yeah, Paul Rodriguez's actually, son, the main, uh, the comedian. Yeah, ex- yeah, exactly. So I mean, dude, I grew up uh, skating and also in high school, and um, I was, you know, he was my favorite skater, you know. Uh, yeah. And I actually got an audition when I barely started up acting again. I got an audition. Uh, I think it was for Hawaii Five O, and it was in LA, and. Um, he was there, man. He was, uh, he was there, you know, and I, I got to meet my, like, my, my idol, dude. Like, you know, I was like, oh, man, I grew up watching you. You know, I was all, like, you know, shocked and stuff. And, yeah. and we ended up chopping it up, man. And he's like, oh, he's, because, uh, you know, he, he has, like, his family's out here in Orange Cove and everything. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, man, I live in Kingsburg. Uh, and I came out here for an audition. He's like, what? He's like, you came all the way out here? He's like, no way, just for this? I was like, yeah. He's like, dang, he's like, that's dedication, man. Yeah. Like, you know, he was tripping out. And yeah, I mean, I get, I get it a lot, you know, but I think now, like, things change, though, you know, like, with, um, with self-tapes and everything. So we don't, we don't, we could actually audition from our house. And then if we actually end up booking something, then we'll just go drive out there, you know? Right, right. Yeah, that's so dope, man. Have you met his dad, Paul Rodriguez? Nah, I didn't. Um, well, actually, when the Orange Cove uh, skate park opened up, he was there with his whole family. But, yeah. I mean, dude, he was, like, huge. I mean, he still is big, but, you know, like, the, I, the, I was just there as a, you know, a fan. I couldn't, there was no way I could, like, you know, get to talk. But, yeah, I seen his dad, but I never met him, like, in person and stuff. Yeah. I was fortunate enough to do a movie with him, man, called uh, Praying for Rain. And um, Oh, no way. Yeah, and then I also met him at the uh, Chicano Hollywood event. Um, I didn't say oh, what's up or no. nothing to him. He looked at me, and I looked at him, but I, I didn't want to bug him because, know, you know, people are <laughs> yeah. talking to him and everything, man, and I'm, I'm not that guy, you know. I, yeah. But he, he's, a, he's a cool dude, man. That's crazy, man. I, I loved all his movies and stuff, man. He's a, he's a funny guy, yeah, he's man. A funny, he's a funny dude, man. Yeah, he is, and... Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's cool, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, his son, Paul Rodriguez, like I said, I grew up, you know, I, I would, every video, I used to, like, buy his shoes. and Perimeter. So you know, like, yeah, his Nikes and everything, his yeah. skateboards, and, like, to get to randomly meet him, and, like, in per- like, you know, like, literally, I was sitting next to him, you know, it was crazy, like, what, what this, what this, you know, this acting thing, you know, could, uh, these, uh, you know, you just never know, man, what could happen with this. Who pe- what people are you gonna meet or you know well that's how we kind of bumped into each other right I mean what uh, what film was it that we were doing And I, I know I would you. do I was actually gonna ask you that was it Ghetto Busters I, the I, first time we shot Ghetto Busters I wanna or, say, I wanna say it was before, I, I don't know bro I wanna say it was Ghetto Busters I wanna say I there was something remember. before that I wanna say there was something before that but I mean I could be wrong I don't know man but uh, you're, you're a cool dude, bro. I'm, I'm glad I met you, man. We 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 did work on Ghetto Busters together too. Yeah. Um, yeah. On that that one scene, man, that was funny, man. That was dope. And then uh, we also, I, I think we were in another movie, Second Chances or something, right? With uh, Ryan oh. Achoa, the Achoa brothers and stuff. Yeah, man, out there yeah, in LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the state of we did the state of consciousness and stuff. Bro. That's right. Yeah, man. That's right. Yeah, but yeah, dude. I mean, yeah. Likewise, bro. You know. Uh, I mean, we clicked and stuff. I saw him in, like, this dude's freaking talent. Like, I had seen your work before that. I remember watching, uh, was it Americanos or the... Yeah, the, uh, yep, yep. Yeah, dude, I remember watching that, like, when I was, like, getting into, like, trying to meet... Because I, I had stopped acting in uh, 2016. Oh, okay. I stopped for, like, yeah, I stopped for, like, two, three years. And I started up, I, I started up again right when um, you guys were auditioning for... Uh, uh, what was it? The Ghetto Buzzers? No, the one, the little short film with that. Oh, that you guys brought. Midnight Altercation. No, 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 no. The uh, with Ryan Ochoa. Um, oh, Second Chances. Was this? No, not Second Chances. Mm, I don't know. The, the short film, the um, that car one. Remember the oh, Muscle Draggers? Oh, Muscle Draggers, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. 
Yeah, you guys were. I remember you guys were like, were like auditioning for that, and I remember I auditioned. I, I went in. That was the first time I met Danny. I auditioned right there uh, with uh, for Muscle Draggers or whatever. And um, yeah, man, I was like, like you know, I had I had seen your work though. I remember I had seen your guys' work and everything. I was like, damn, this dude, you know, he's talented and shit. And yeah, for sure. um, that's dope, bro. Man, well, hey, man, I, I'm glad to have met you, man. You're a good dude, man. Solid guy. Um, and I see you, man. I see you doing some big things, man. I think you recently just filmed with my godson, JoJo, on a movie mm -hmm. uh, called The Bird's Eye, right? I think Bird's Eye, yeah, yeah, Bird's Eye. That one looked like it's going to be a pretty dope film, man. It's a feature feature film. And um, yeah, I can't wait to watch that one. That, that's that's going to be a good That's going to be a good one. You know about the story on that one, right? Uh, yeah, kind of. It's kind of like, uh, they're getting, like, 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 stalked by the drones or something like that, huh? Like, I, I don't right. really know those stuff. Yeah, because it takes place on a, um, on a, when it was COVID, you know, the guy, oh, nobody could okay, come out of their okay. house, and, and so he had a drone watching people and stuff, so it gets uh -huh. crazy. It goes crazy from there, man, but yeah, that was dope, man. You got to film with the man. So, man, bro, hey, uh, so let us know, man, what's up with, uh, Malibu, uh, Horror story. Horror story, bro. Hey, man, you guys won like over like is it over twenty five film festivals? Cause there's a lot of stamps on uh, on that cover. Yeah, it was. Uh, we actually won sixty nine awards uh, in total. Yeah, Yay. man. It was, yeah, it was sixty nine awards, man. Yeah. Um, I don't think anybody was expecting that, like, to get that many. Uh, Cause it was. Uh, the director, writer, Scott Sloan, it was his first project as well. Uh, it was my first, like, uh, lead in a feature, like, you know, major, anything, like, major, whatever. Right. And I never, that was my first film in the uh, festival circuit, too. And uh, we were just, you know, I mean, they submitted to every, and you know how it is. You um, you, you know, you've, you've got projects in the film festival circuit as well. And, yeah. I mean, it's hard, dude, to get. Uh, picked, you know, like your yeah. film to get picked, chosen out of so many uh, um, other, you know, projects that are on there, and it's, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's hard for all these, you know, people that do these film festivals to pick, because, man, they got some really great projects, but yeah, man, Malibu Horror Story, I think, it, like, 90% of every, or, yeah, around 90% of every film festival it got submitted to it got uh selected and like pretty much each one it won man and um yeah like i said no, they weren't expecting that man they were you know expecting like hopefully it'll do good you know we'll see how it goes and you know that's a big thing too in the uh independent films you know like that's how you know how it's gonna get if it's gonna do good or not with the audiences you know yeah. uh, that's how that's why they want to throw them in the, the festival circuit and that way they know okay if it's gonna you know get accepted or not or whatever right, right. and yeah man it, it, did, it did good though man it did good um you were waiting for a good minute though to, for it to come out oh uh, yeah <laughs> yeah bro. you were bro i remember having that conversation with you man you're like yeah. man there's this movie i did man you you shed some some stories <laughs> yeah. on like who's in it and then you gave me, it's, i was like bro that's that's crazy like what 10 know, years yeah, later or something yeah we started in 2012 uh well yeah we sh uh, everything with that movie started i sh started in 2010 like uh we we auditioned for it i auditioned for it in 2010 they cast us like the four original unknown actors um and yeah i mean uh in 20 like 2011 they got a uh, some producers and investors and in, you know to get a lot more money and Right. They're like, let, let, let's shoot this, you know, let's put some more money into it. Let's shoot this thing, you know, like make it, make it legit. Like, cause the the, the director, he's also the writer. He he had written a script that was like a, like, like you know, a million dollar or more budget. Yeah. But at the time in 2010, they didn't have that budget, and they were able to raise you know all that money for the, the original script which was crazy yeah and you know that we were able to shoot it and the thing was that with that one was that um we were actually worried man that we were about to get recast because oh, wow. new people came in new producers there was like a studio involved 
Yeah. And yeah, we didn't know if we were gonna be, you know, they were gonna recast, but yeah, the producers and stuff, Dustin Harris and um, Scott Sloan, who's also the producer, writer, director on it. They fought, man, they fought to keep uh, the original four. And yeah, man, they kept us and we reshot it in 2012. Um, and yeah, man, we shot in 2012 and things happened, you know, on the way there, uh, you know, like, uh, the editing process. And then in, tw I think when it, w it was actually ready around 2015, 2016, they were like ready to put it out. Yeah. But by then Hollywood didn't mess with, uh, found footage movies anymore because it was at first it was, uh, just pure found footage now yeah. it's a found footage hybrid like it has you know the found footage uh the whole found footage you know technique and all that stuff but it also has the actual cinematic like so it goes back and forth oh, so okay. it's like a kind of like a documentary type yeah yeah and um yeah and by 2016 when they were ready to put it out as found footage you know all this like hollywood did a mess with you know found footage films no more because it got so saturated you know everybody was trying to make because i mean i'm pretty sure you remember like paranormal activity all these movies yeah yeah they were they were so low budget man like like low budget and they were making like millions and millions and millions of dollars bro well, like and that, that's how that witch project what is that uh, pr uh, the blair witch yeah blair that's, witch. The that, that, that's the og yeah. yeah was the og of it all huh yeah, like a that's handheld started, camera. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. And not, not, nothing can touch that movie, man. Like that that movie, dude, I remember when I seen it. Yeah. I was like scared, really? bro. Just because I thought it was real, you know? Right, right. They got you, yeah, believe dude. Yeah, they got you to believe it was real. I was a kid, man, and I watched it, dude. I was like, what the heck? Like, I remember, like, I was like, was this real? Like, you know, I remember going to school and people were talking about it. Like, dude, it made noise and. That was a so low budget, bro. And the, right. I mean, that one was made back in like the like early '90s, I think. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Was it or no? It wasn't early '90s, bro. It was, was it? No. It yeah. Was like early two thousand, bro. It. It, was, it had to be like early two thousands. Man, you think I, so? yeah, I think I think so. Maybe, man, bro. I don't I don't know now. Now I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> because I know they remade it. There's another Blair Witch. They did. They remade it with the new uh, cast and stuff. But yeah. I know that that the original one, it was it was like something like probably say early. late nineties, early two thousands, maybe. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll yeah. I'll I'll say that. I'll say that. Yeah, but dude, that movie. But yeah, that was the OG a bit. And um, yeah, I mean, Paranormal Activity came and it pretty much brought back that found footage. You know that everybody, you know that everybody thought Paranormal Activity was real and everything. Right. You know. And that was the thing with Malibu, uh, the director, uh, Scott Sloan, he wanted, he wanted it to be like that. Like he wanted to cast unknown actors and sell it to the, to every, you know, to the audiences as like this really happened. And, you know, this really went down in the Malibu mountains or whatever. Yeah. 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 But like I said, uh, they, 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 uh, you know, they, no studios a lot of people were like no like uh you know we're not working with the found footage anymore whatever blah 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 so that pretty much put another more hold on to it until the uh director uh writer scott sloan he, he ended up writing another he threw in another um he he threw in another four uh characters in there Right. And now it's with Dylan Sprayberry. He's been in like a bunch of projects. He he was on Man of I think his biggest like project was on Man of Man of Steel. He played a uh, young uh, Clark Kent on that movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's on there and uh, Valentina De Angelis. She's been on a couple of TV shows and stuff. Yeah. So he brought you know they he brought them in um, to play as. Uh, they're like a kind of like a YouTube, you know. You seen like those true crime or like those uh, um, what do they call like ghost adventures and all that stuff, where like they go and like they they'll oh. be like looking for a you ghost know. in a haunted house and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, he brought them go. in, and that's what it's like now. So it's like yeah. they go into the same cave that you know these four teens uh, 2012. They went in, and all this stuff went down, and they go in there and. 
you know, they're trying to uncover the truth or see what really happened to them and stuff. And yeah, man, it, uh, people really loved it. They brought in um, Troy James, mm-hmm. who's the, he plays with like the, the monster on there. This dude could like do all kinds of crazy stuff with his body. Like people, people were actually, it was funny because we won, um, or the movie won an award for best special effects. Yeah. But it barely has any special effects. They thought that the monster was like uh, special effects or something, but the, the director was like, nah, man, it's an actual dude doing all that stuff. Oh, so he's just a flexible guy then. Yeah, uh, he's doing yeah, all this yeah. crazy. He's no. Like flex- that's yeah. dope. That's dope. That's yeah, cool, bro. man. Like, yeah, because I don't like that special effect. If you could get somebody that could really move the arms and twist yes. the arms and do something crazy, man, bro. There's people that could do that. I don't know how, but. Yes, bro. Exactly, dude. And this guy, like, with them, uh, when they were telling us, like, dude, he, they got, like, some, uh, one of the top uh, Hollywood, like, like the, they do all the visual, or what is it called, like the special, like the makeup effects and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. They got the, they got them to do like all this like crazy, like uh, creature looking. Mm-hmm. And I guess even the director, he said when this dude got into character, he was like, bro, he's a, I, even I was scared, <laughs> you know. <and> he's <laughs> like, I was behind the camera, and like, yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, man. I mean, hopefully. Um, Hopefully they bring it back out into theaters here pretty soon. Back, yeah, because it, it got released in October 20th in, like, select theaters. And um, it did all right, but I guess the, distribu- the, the distributor, um, I don't know. I guess they had problems with them. The producer was telling me. I just talked to him recently. Oh. And they're going to try to go find – they're trying to go with somebody else and – you know hopefully bring it back into theaters and uh i know they got other countries as well like south america and they're looking at like you know uh i don't know like china and other places that they want to release it in oh okay yeah Yeah, and uh and also in streamers it should be out in a couple months i think they said by like mid-spring we should there should be Hopefully, some 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 news coming out. That's dope, cause there, there's a place for it, bro. Like a lot of people think that it's just like okay, California, LA, you know, United States. You know what I mean? Like no, there, mm-hmm. there, there's a different market for it. It could be Japan. It could be yeah. You know what I mean? UK. You know, yeah. don't you don't put all your eggs in one basket. You know what I mean? Like yeah. So I, yeah, I see what they're doing, man. I want to watch it, man. I, didn't you say Matt? Man, I don't, I don't know. If Master P son's on it. Were you trying to? Yeah, like Master P son, Vino Miller. Uh, he, he he's in it. Um, at the time too. I mean, he he had done like some little gigs, but okay. Uh, he wasn't like known known yeah. to like ruin it. You know that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like so, they had cast him in there. Okay. Um, yeah, man, but it. Yeah, man, it's good, man. I mean, you know, hopefully, I know there's like a, a, a website that has it, but it's like those uh, bootleg, like no, you know. Uh, you tell me <laughs> I later. ain't trying to show. <laughs> yeah, nah, I just playing. Nah, yeah, you nah, yeah, yeah, I get it, man. That's crazy, but you know what, man? You did this about like ten years ago, man. So mm-hmm. there's a good and bad part about it, right? Like you want, you want. I mean, this is your, this is your work. This is what you mm-hmm. did. You wanted to go out. You want people to watch it. I mean, this is. But then it's like ten years later, we look different. You know what I mean? Like oh, that's that's yeah, that's that yeah. downside of it, right? Because somebody's watching and be like, I like this dude. I really like. But mm-hmm. you're you're like, man, but I don't I don't I, you know I don't look the same. <laughs> but, oh yeah, I don't but, look the same at all. Oh, and we bro, don't. A lot of us don't, bro. That was ten years ago. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I don't look the same at all. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I gained like Halloween. <laughs> bro, I mean, you know? me too, bro. Like, you know. But you know yeah. what? That's a blessing, though, man. You you did it, Hector. Like you, you got it. You you. Man, that movie won a lot of awards. It's out there, bro. It's it's probably gonna. You never know, man. It's gonna catch an eye at maybe in the UK, like I said, Japan, somewhere, bro. Yeah, like that, yeah. you, you can say I was in that movie. I did it. Yep. I was there. Yeah. And then you could share this testimony with with so many people saying, yeah, if I did it, you could do it too, bro. But I I don't see. That's not the only thing you've been working on. You've been working on some more stuff. I seen uh, El Halcon, right? Not, is that am I saying that right? Yeah, El Halcón, yeah, yeah uh, no, uh, that was a, um, a CSUN thesis, like that, the thesis film, like that was like their 
short film, isn't it? Yeah, it's a short film, and it's like their um, pretty much their graduate film. Like, like the, and it's crazy because um, there's a lot of students. They 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 write the script. Uh, her name's Arlene Torres. She okay. wrote it. She wrote the script, and she directed it. Oh wow! And she, they, yeah, they submit it to the pretty much like the CSUN, like the film, uh, whoever like runs all the film stuff, you know. Yeah. And they only pick five out of the whole. There was like hundreds of kids that submitted their films. Mm. They only picked five. She got hers picked. And yeah, man, uh, with that one, I remember uh, my. I had just gotten a, my my new agent that I'm with right now, okay. and she was like, "Hey, like we need some, we need more uh, footage of you, like reels, you know, for your reel and stuff, so I could submit you to pitch you to casting directors." And she was like, "How about this short film?" She she sent it to me. And she's like, "Do you want me to submit you?" Yeah. And I read the character breakdown. I was like, "Yeah, I, you know, I, I can audition for that." And uh, I ended up uh, getting the audition. And they send us the full script because I mean it's a short film. It's not. It wasn't like a huge, you know, script or whatever. Right. Yeah. When I read the script, man, I was. It was really, you know. Oh, I think you've seen the. You think I. You've seen the short film. You've seen it. Uh, I, I was gonna. I, I didn't. I was not gonna say anything because I don't know if it's uh, gonna be a secret or not. But you killed it. You uh, killed it, bro. bro. No, I, I. I love it, bro. You. You killed it, man. That short film, man. I wanted to. Remember, I told you I wanted to see more, man. Yeah, like, exactly. He was, he was, he was really good, man. And to to see my friend on there, bro, and, and kill it like that, man. It was like, I was very proud of you, man. I, I want, yeah, I wanted to see you. Brother. Yeah, bro. Like you've been doing great, man. You're a good actor, man. Not just a Thank good you. actor, bro. You're a great actor, man. Thank you. And, I appreciate and, and it. Likewise, brother. Yeah, brother. And you're a good dude too. I remember one time you told me you're like, yeah, bro. If you you need a man manager, an agent, man, I could. You know, I, I could talk to him about getting you on or something. And I didn't even have to say anything, but I was like, you know what, man? I'll go ahead and I'll let you know. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not that yeah. guy. I'm not that guy that's just going to just jump into something like that. And I'm not one of those people, man. It's just like, you know what, bro? Uh, when, when the time is right, I will let you know, Hector. Because, you know, I, I wouldn't want to be a disappointment and make you look mm -hmm. bad. Or, yeah, cause, exactly. you know, there's some people, you know, because I got my own life. I got things to do. I got work. I got to, I got to. I gotta figure things out sometimes, you know what I mean. But uh, and, and and while I'm figuring things out, I'm, I'm still landing jobs. I'm still working in LA, still doing oh, yeah, things. Like yeah. I'm my own manager. Yeah, you're, you're thing, yeah, 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 like I'm my own manager. You know, I manage my godson and everything. But it's it's just it's just dope, bro. That you know you you could offer that to certain people, man. And and I could respect that, bro. And I'm not gonna take advantage of that either, man. You're I'm just so I'm I'm just saying it now, bro. Like I I respect you, bro, for being who you are and what you do, man. Thank you, no, yeah, I mean, and I, I don't offer that to a lot of, you know, I do, because I, like I said, I know you're a good actor and stuff, and I was like, damn, like, you know, I know my, my, an agent or manager would love to have you on their roster, you know, and, yeah. you know, because, yeah, like you said, I'm not going to just go to some, somebody be like, oh, yeah, I'm trying to, but, you know, I've had people like that, you know, like, they're like, hey, bro, like, how can I get an agent, or can you hook me up, or how, you know, what? but it's like, yeah. Yeah. I've never seen your stuff, man. How, you know, what if you make, or I don't really know you like that. What if you make me look, you know, because it does, it does affect like that. It's happened, not with me, but I've known people that they'll refer their friend and like their homies end up like not going to the auditions or, yeah. you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like stuff like that. And it makes, it does make that person look, but yeah, man, you know, that's, that offer still stands, bro. Whenever I could, you know, reach out to, my agent or manager or I could help you out man you know look for for representation Thank for you. yourself I appreciate yeah. it man I appreciate it man yeah I had, I had some people do the same thing man they would ask me and I'm like uh and I would help them out and they wouldn't they wouldn't show up they wouldn't show up to the audition yeah. oh I couldn't do it I mean, I, you know I couldn't do it but then it's yeah. like you know and I, I you know what I, I that's it I don't know what to tell you man after that like uh -huh. hey like you keep doing you and you know, you help. You try to do your best to help people, yeah. man, and 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 that's what they do, bro. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah. I, I helped a lot of people, man, too, as you know, getting people, uh -huh. you know, agents and stuff, man. And, yeah. But you know what, man? Like, hey, I want to know about this, uh, bro. Uh, uh, um, America's Most Wanted. That came back. Yeah, man, it came back. It came uh, back. Uh, I love that well, show. It, 
Yeah, I do. I know me too. I used to watch that like every night, you know, like as a little kid. I remember I'd get all like, yeah. I'd get all into it. Like, dang, they're looking like, what if, what if they're around here? You know, <laughs> just thinking crazy stuff, you know, when you see these fugitives or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, I worked on that. Uh, re- Actually, it was in December, like early December, I believe. I booked uh, that uh, one of the roles for that. Um, but yeah, I came back. It was actually in. It was only streaming. I think it was only streaming on like Hulu or something. Oh dang! And then yeah, and but it was it was with different hosts, and then they they wanted to bring back the original host, John Walsh. Yeah. Which was like the you know the OG like the dude that's been doing it since like the early nineties eighties. Yeah. I've been doing it for years. Yes. Yeah. So they brought him back. Wait, and wait, wait, wait. Well, before I cut you off, didn't it all started off with his son? Like was yeah. like missing, right? Am I right? Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, man. So he, yeah, dude, the crazy story. Yeah, his son. He, I guess his son got kidnapped, and he ended up getting murdered, man. And that that pretty much you know inspired him to to help out you know to to make this uh there's pretty much a show man i guess he had connections and stuff and they gave him a show and you know he wow. he he's been doing it since man and now he's doing it with his other another his other son and he's like the co-host with him his other son uh, what that's dope hey do you, yeah. you remember um okay so uh busy bone from bone thugs and harmony i i mm-hmm. i did a song with him and mm-hmm. um good dude man but he was also he was back in the day was also on that show you know that he was missing right oh really he was missing bro his face was in back of a milk carton what yeah I didn't know that. yeah crazy. bro he, he he man i forgot five years old six years old maybe younger bro he got kidnapped and and things were happening to him and yeah, bro, but he was on that. He was on the show. John was talking. Uh, you know, in fact, oh, I, th- I think Busy Bone did a song for Josh after that, or John. I mean, after that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah he was on that show, bro. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah. I w- I didn't even know. Like I already, you know, already found out that like when I was auditioning, I didn't know they were gonna bring it back. And yeah, it, it, it's it looked it's cool, man. They changed it a lot. Uh, uh, they changed it. I know Rick, uh, Ricky, Ricky was on that show too as well. Uh, yeah. Like in the 2010 or something. Oh, really? Ricky Montez. Man, he won't, he won't, he don't share so much about his, his work. I mean, it's <laughs> crazy, bro. He's very like, he does mm. his thing. His family, bro. Like I interviewed him. I don't know if you've seen that, but I interviewed yeah, him. Yeah, I saw that. And his, and his family, man, talked about his kids and how he got them in acting, man. Like he, he, man, bro, he works I'm bro, bro, I'm telling you, bro. Like, landing mm-hmm. commercials left and right. He works in silent, yeah. bro. He basically works in silent. He don't really put it out like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Who cool do, just... bro? Shout out to Ricky, yeah. man. Anytime I'm in LA, Ricky, <laughs> anytime I'm out there, bro, I need a place to stay. The homie opens his door for me, bro. He, he don't oh, have to yeah. do that, man. He's telling like lyrics, man. Whenever you come out here, bro, like just let me know and I got you. He and he does, bro. He does, man. Yeah, Shout out to he's Ricky. He's a good dude, bro. He's a, he's really cool, man. Great actor too. But yeah, I remember he was, we were talking about it and he was like, yeah, um, he's like, I think, I think it was, yeah, but it was different, but how they shot, they shot, they shoot the whole thing now. Like they have actual like guests of the, of the families of like the, you know, the victims and all that stuff. It, oh. It's pretty cool, man. It, it's cool. But yeah, I just worked on that and it, it barely got released, uh, last Monday, actually. Yeah. Last Monday. Wow. What, episode. Can you did you share it already? Did you put it out? Where can I see it? Or what can it people uh, see? It? Yeah, it's streaming on uh Hulu and it's on Tubi for free as well. And then like it's you know, if you have like uh on demand Xfinity you could like search it on there and it should be on the it should say like season two, episode six. Okay, season two, episode six. Okay, cool. Yeah, you you could watch the the, the uh, episode right there. I mean, it wasn't much, you know. Um, I mean, I remember we shot all day, but you know, you never know what, how much they're gonna end up using in the actual, you know, the final cut and stuff. But yeah, man, it was fun, man. It was it was crazy. It was. Uh, I ended up getting uh, hit in the face. I remember I was driving back home and I was like, dude, why is my face like? I had like a freaking lump on my head and shit. Yeah. Oh, I got that. I, get, I was getting, yeah, because I was getting arrested, man, and uh, it was like the SWAT, and they were like, "Get up, get up," you know, and like I felt somebody like hit me. I was like, "Hey." Oh <laughs> yeah. Oh man, 
they, they got you. I know, <laughs> they got me for real. I was like, dang, all right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool, man. Congratulations, man. That is that's, that's so huh? dope, bro. I, I'm proud of you, man. And what what else is what, what's happening now, man? Is there anything else? Maybe just, I don't know. Um. So yeah, I mean, uh, lately, no. I just been. Uh, I've done a. Uh, local commercials were here in the valley i did a okay. i did one uh, last week um and yeah man just auditioning bro just you know just still auditioning hopefully we land something else new but yeah yeah so there's somebody uh, listening bro somebody young somebody maybe our age listening right now man and they want to know how to get into the game bro like what would you tell them like um like or yeah, what advice? Yeah. yeah, what would you tell them? How to start? Where 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 do they start, bro? Like I know, but I want you to explain it. Yeah, um, what I would say is, uh, you know, before anything, start acting or taking classes. You know, start training. You know, do your training, and really see if you, you know, if you uh, like acting. Because a lot of people, I know, you know, they 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 try to get into the industry for the wrong reasons or whatever. Yeah. And man, and for this. You know this industry, like you know, man, you really have to love it because it's you're gonna get a lot of no's before you get a yes, you know. And um, yeah, man, just you know, keep train and get yourself out there. You know, you're gonna have to do stuff for free. You're gonna, you know, I did a lot of a lot of work before I ended up getting paid any making any money out of this. Uh, I was doing it for free, man. I was doing short films, commercial, whatever I could do, man, just yeah. to be on set and get that experience. Yeah. But, you know, like what I was, you know, they, they you know, my teacher is Leslie Kahn, who I've been uh, training with. She's in L.A. She always talks about, you know, training, you know, you got to train, you know, because it, it is, man, it's it's hard. You know, a lot of people come, especially, uh, or even if you do theater, you know, do theater, go to your local theater or school, whatever, right. do some theater, right. and, uh, you know, and it, but if you do want to get into TV and film, it's a lot different, you know, than theater, uh, yeah. so that's why they have actual TV and film um, classes, because in theater, everybody's used to, like, this big, you know, you have to... You know, the 50 people or whatever have to hear you and see you, whatever. And then TV, it's like so small and like, you know, you're in a frame and you don't want to do all this moving around and stuff. Yeah. So, but yeah, man, you just go to classes, you know, get into, uh, you know, do as much as you can, short films and all that, get a resume going. And, you know, if you actually feel like you love it and you could do this and you, you, know you put in your 110 percent i would say just pursue it and you know start uh trying to get an agent a manager or uh you know but for i'm at, i think mainly uh first an agent people don't really need a manager you know like when you're starting out you don't really need that because that is an extra like 15 percent off your check so <laughs> if you know what i mean <laughs> yeah no uh, man. yeah but yeah, man, I, that, that, that's the advice I would have, man. Just, and, you know, just do it. Do it if you really love it. You know, if you really love it, if you really love the craft, you know, do it for that. Don't be looking out. You know, don't be thinking like, oh, I'm trying to get famous or rich because honestly, at the end of the day, there's like they say, there's like 1% chance of even making it that far, you know. And don't get cocky when you're doing something either, yeah. man. Don't be thinking like, oh, yeah, no, no, I did like two movies. I'm yeah, like, I, I, my exactly. head is so big and all that, man. Like, and then, oh, I got to get paid and I got to, you yeah. know, I need some, I need somebody to feed me grapes after that. No, <laughs> man, <laughs> it don't work like that, man. Like the, like the homie said, man, you're right, Hector. Man, you got to put your foot in the door. You got to mm -hmm. do free stuff. Yeah, sometimes you, you got to do it, man. You got yeah, to, you, you got to learn, you man. Yeah. You got to, it's just like when you, when you taking it, uh, when you're doing an internship. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. to a, to, exactly. Yeah, that's what yeah, it is. It's like, like an internship, man. You uh -huh. get in there, you're learning, man. But yes, you're learning yeah, as you go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And you know what? I'll still do it. I some, there's sometimes I will do it for free, man. Depends on yeah. who it is or for who it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because I, I love the crap. If it's local or you know uh -huh. or uh, yeah, yeah. or if it's a homie who's doing it and I'll yeah. lace the lyrics exactly. I need you, yeah. bro, I got you, bro. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. You know what for I mean? Sure. Like. They're 
I, you know, it, it's just it's just something I love to do, bro. Mm-hmm. It, it, you know, and and you know what's important too for me, man, is that real, man. Like, okay, cool, mm-hmm. you got a good scene for me. All right, cool, I can use, man. Yes. Yeah, you can use it for your real, man. All right, uh-huh. dope. Uh-huh. All right, you know. But you know, yeah, man. To me, man, it's just about leaving a legacy, man. Leaving something behind, letting people, my grandchildren, know, hey, yeah. man, this is what movies I've been on. This is what I've yeah. done. This is what I did. But no, we're we, now we got to this point where yes, we are getting paid. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And and and, and that's dope. That's 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 dope to get paid for something like that. But also, man, like we we love to give back too. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, like you said, if it's a homie or whatever, you know, if it's somebody you know i respect you know that you know and that i know it's gonna be something good you know like freddie freddie felt i know he all his projects are so dope you know he's a great writer you know i would i would do it yeah like you said for the real man for the for that footage you know and uh you know how i look at it though hector i look at it as like i'm gonna go out there because um for the fellowship, I'm gonna hang out with my friends. Uh-huh. I'm gonna get, to, I'm gonna get to hang yeah. out with Hector because me, me and you met out there, and I was like, man, I got to hang out with the homie, man, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. And um, and then while you're out there, you're visiting friends and and you know that you haven't seen for a while in LA. Yeah. Maybe you're staying with somebody. You're looking at it like a vacation with the plus, yeah, you know. Exactly. Yes, yeah, dude. It, it, and it's fun, man. It's all about having fun, bro. You know. Yeah. Like they say, you know, it doesn't feel like the job when it's, you know, when you're having fun, and that's true, man. It's. You know, if you're having fun and you love it and, you know, just, just keep doing it, man. It don't matter. You know, a lot of people say, like, oh, you know, uh, a lot, I think uh, now with social media and stuff, people, like, uh, expect you to have, oh, you're an actor, but you don't have a million of followers or yeah. well, you, you're not rich or, like, it's not even like that, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, like, there's so many working actors that aren't famous or rich but they're doing it every day you know and it doesn't matter like you know they're doing it they're on set you know and they're having fun they're getting they're paying their bills that's all that matters bro yeah i mean yeah i don't get people like that sometimes man um but it is what it is man it is dope bro i'm glad to have you on this podcast man and i see you doing all these things man you're filming what else do you do man do you have any hobbies on the side or yeah, man. So yeah, I mean, my, you know, I have, uh, you know, we all have to have our little side side gigs. I, I work, uh, I do uh, remodeling houses with my pops. Oh. We yeah, we remodel houses on the side and stuff. And uh, you know, I do everything in construction, all that stuff. You know, and uh, it's flex. You know, it's flexible. Like I could, you know, I'm pretty much like self-employed still. So if I do have. I get a booking and I have to, you know, go to LA or whatever, yeah. or to the Bay. You know, I, I could do it. You know, that like that's that's one thing too, is uh, always have a. You know, people want to jump into this and like quit their job and all this. Like they think they're gonna be work, but you never know when you're gonna work at this man. So right. always have a. You always have to have other streams of income. You know, money coming in because you never know. You, even yeah. bro, even even uh, celebrities, you know, are big big a-list actors they're not always guaranteed to work man or directors or anybody you know in this industry that's just how it is and it's good to have other you know like yeah like uh you know what bro you're you're right 100 percent, hector like i i have some people that i know that are actors that do ubering you know what i mean yeah uh, yeah or they're dropping off food or whatever that's called uh, um, lyft or um Mm -hmm. Man, yeah, or, yeah. or hey, bro, like I for one, like I was doing a movie called Straight Out of Compton, right? You know, uh, yeah, and, yeah. And then one of the actors I saw was Bones, right? He played on Training wow. Day, he played on a bunch of movies, bro. Yeah. End of Watch, where he's that guy that beats up. Uh, he he ends up fighting Michael Pena, and he's like, hey man, you oh, beat my ass. That, I'll put these cuts cool. on okay. my damn self. Yeah, that that dude. So he came up. I was like, bro, you're on this movie. He goes, hell no, I'm not. But I'm working PA right now, bro. He had this. He had a. Um, oh. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know what pa is man basically yeah. they just on set working man they have to uh the uh yeah they're just basically on set working bro making sure everything is cool everything's cleared like i was like what yeah. i was like i thought this dude was just an actor no he goes bro i, I gotta work behind the scenes too i do everything man i don't just i'm just <laughs> not an actor dog i was like man that's what's up bro so it's like man y'all people don't 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 quit your day job man sometimes yeah, man you your, yeah. yeah because you're gonna need it just like that strike when the strike happened man exactly it, I, bro you know, a, lot, a lot of people that's had a, a sleep great in example their right there yes. man. That's a, 
People had to sleep in their cars, bro. Like, there was riders. There was people that yeah. had to sleep. Bro, I, man. It that was, was bad, dude. It was bad. Right. And if you don't have a, a plan B, bro, you know, uh-huh. then I don't know, you know? So, yep. uh, yeah, that that's that sucks, man. So, yeah, if, if you can, man, try to keep a job, man. Maybe a job <laughs> that could be flexible, like like the homie yep. said. Um, yep. But, yeah, man, you got to make some kind of income somewhere, man. What, what, you yeah, know, yeah, you gotta. Yeah, exactly, dude. And like you, you mentioned some good ones: Uber, Uber Eats. You know, all that live. You know, it could be your. Mm-hmm. You know, it's flexible, and you know, just get some money. Yeah, cause man, it. Yeah, like that strike, man. I messed everything up. I mean, it was for a good cause. The, the union did go in. You know, uh, they went in for a good cause because right. I mean, it was it was getting to a point, man, where. Um, the pay wasn't even there, bro. For you know how it is, bro. Right, You're on right. set 12, 13. Sometimes, you know, I've I've known people that have gone like 15 hour shift, you know, doing days, you know, on set, and the pay wasn't even there, you know. Or right. now with AI and all that stuff coming in, trying to replace actors, and it's 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 yeah. insane, man. It, it was so. I'm, I'm, I mean, if for good you know it was a good reason but still it did mess up it, a lot of people uh pretty much yeah like you said they were sleeping in their cars man or they didn't have they were pretty much running out of money and they you know they couldn't pay the bills and stuff bro that's the world we're living in bro ai bro like they just basically <laughs> you go in hey we're gonna pay you to come around maybe we're gonna use your image you're gonna they're gonna lose you're gonna use your likeness basically exactly they they might put you in a green life for life they might put you in a green i think a (laughs) green room and then maybe hook you up with some i don't know and have you walk walk run do all kinds Uh of stuff and then they're gonna scan your face then they're gonna now they're now they're now they're not gonna hire background people man they're gonna use you and they're gonna multiply you in many ways man (laughs) that's gonna be crazy and they'll change your skin color and all that bro yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy because I heard um uh for the I think the the latest uh, Spider-Man movie mm-hmm. they were doing that for the background actors, bro. Oh, and wow. guess how much they were getting paid, bro? Uh. And this was you. This was union too. There was this was they were only getting paid a hundred dollars just to get scat like to show up. Those the, I guess they had like this. Uh, nice like a trailer type thing and you like walked in there and they yeah. they, they would scan you take your pic whatever all this stuff yeah they would just give you a hundred bucks bro and they would have you in the movie like like your character or your person like having like the like a bridge falling on them or like you know crazy stuff no, like, i didn't hear like, about that bro for real yeah yeah man it, yeah if you and there's a lot there's a lot of uh, the studios that we're doing that or probably still are i know for yeah. uh since the strike after it passed there they can't do that for uh for speaking roles you know mainly for yeah. like principal lead role all that you know they can't do that but i know for background roles people are still doing it man or studios are still doing it and yeah. it's, it sucks bro because a lot of people that that's how they they didn't want to be active man they just trying to pay bills you know and in la man there's always something shooting so they were like i'm gonna just do back background work yeah. you know it does pay pretty good or whatever but now it's like you're only getting paid 100 bucks and they're gonna use you f- for any other thing you know like it's yeah. crazy dang bro did, did you have to get your covid like did you did you, mm-hmm. did you yeah you got your shots and all that yeah man i had i pretty oh. i was pretty much i was yeah i mean it was like you pretty much were forced to kind of man because it was like um if you wanted to like you know they would they would like literally casting was asking yeah. on your slates and stuff oh are you covid yeah. uh vaccinated mm-hmm. and i was like man i don't want to lose out on a job or a gig if i'm not yeah. vaccinated so i pretty much went and got you know these vaccines or whatever yeah bro there was this movie that my guy sent an audition for man it was like i think it was for like a man uh, Nickelodeon film or ah uh, man no uh, a Disney and um uh, and a George Lopez was supposed to be in it and then I know uh-huh. Eva Lagoria is in it and he auditioned uh-huh. for it man but yes they ask you for all that information yeah. bro they will ask yeah. you, did you get COVID and he uh-huh. did it man so I had to talk to you know the family and, and it's like hey man do we need to get JoJo yeah. vaccinated because this is what they're asking for and 
Well, everybody's like, well, like maybe if he gets the film, then maybe we'll consider it, but we're not sure. Right. And, you know, and I, it got to that point where I hit up uh, No LG, man. I was like, hey, brother, I, you know, um, he called me back and we were talking about that because he's not vaccinated and he's an actor. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And I was like, yeah. damn, bro, like how? Because you know, you know, everybody has their own beliefs, and a homie believes it's, oh, yeah. you know, it's, it's a devil. You know, like, oh yeah, man, you. Yeah. It's like, uh, <laughs> anyway, man, all biblical stuff, whatever, man. And um, I'm like, okay, and I feel bad anyway, man, for my godson. I, you know, he's too young to make that decision because what if he does turn 18 years old or 19? He's like, I didn't, I didn't want that. Like, I, I know, bro. You know, and I then know, he, has to turn, he turns around, tries to sue Nino. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I know, bro. So, yeah. so um, I'm kind of glad he didn't get it. <laughs> nah, I just yeah. like, no, yeah, I wanted, I, I wanted the best from man, but no, bro, he didn't, he didn't get it anyway, man. But um, it, it was a scare because I, I don't want him to do something that he's not ready for either. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah man. That, that this vaccine stuff, it was like really. Like, I don't know how to say it. Like, it was, like, almost, like, political. Like, you know, like, it was it was crazy, man. It was it was insane that people were actually asking people to get vaccinated to work, yeah. bro. You yeah. know, and if you weren't vaccinated, you couldn't work. Yeah. But yeah. it is what it is, you know. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I, I know. I, I know, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Um, but hey, bro, man, I, I'm glad to get you on, man. It was cool talking to you, man. Your experiences with all these films that you've been working on, man. Uh, kudos to you, bro. And uh, let, let people know how they could follow you, man. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. And, you know, thanks again for having me on here, bro. You know, it's, it's great, you know, and it's also, you know, great to see you and yeah. uh, all your all your stuff that you've been doing. And, you know, you've just been grinding from your book. You know your podcast. I, you know, you, you do it all, bro, and that's that's so dope. And uh, but yeah, man, people could you know I have Instagram. Uh, you can follow me as uh, Hector E Gomez Jr. and I'm on Facebook too as Hector Gomez Jr. That's pretty much what I use. So that's what's up, man. Y'all follow Hector Gomez, man. You doing big yeah. things, man. Well, we, hey, man. Again, I appreciate you, man, and thank you coming. Thank you for uh, joining us, man. Yeah, thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah.